Hey guys, it's Denise here. Welcome to my channel, Nola Collectibles. I'm here today to do a jewelry bag unbagging, and this one is actually a Shop Goodwill lot. It was a bag that I purchased on Shop Goodwill. It cost me $43 and some change, and I believe, I wanna say maybe it came from a Florida location. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise Nola Collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller, and I sell primarily on eBay. My shop name there is also Nola Collectibles. All of my content is jewelry related, so uh, thread up unboxings, Goodwill blue box unboxings, shop Goodwill bag unbaggings and stuff like that, uh, thrift store hauls, estate sale hauls, dusty antique shop hauls, <laughs> everything jewelry. So anyway, um, I am going to get right into it because this looks like a super fun bag. And oh, the reason why I purchased this was I saw these little Disney pins in here. And I know some of these are kind of collectible. So I see that they were like new on cards. So really that was the primary reason why I selected this lot. And it also looked like there was some vintage goodies in here, which I feel like is becoming harder and harder to come by on Shop Goodwill. I feel like they're just separating items out. And so I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave this over here aside and I will pull the items out and we'll go through them together. And so right on top, there is this box, this black box. And then inside here we have, <laughs> looks like an, it's an M&M watch. So we have like a little, what looks to be like brand new M&M watch. Let me just pop this out. This almost looks like an Avon box. Yeah. Called it. That is, that's an Avon. Okay. So we have a little, uh, m m chocolate m m watch in white leather and it's got silver toned face very cute and that is from avon okay that's not bad there seems to be like a lot of watches in here too i'm not opposed to watches just depends what kind of watches we have here we have one i'm gonna go through this one actually looks like it might be functioning but this one it says brit sport not really sure what that is i don't think that's anything really worth noting so we'll put that guy over there tons of washes i'm gonna go right here because it's sitting on top and it looks pretty and so we have this <laughs> this amazing enamel bangle bracelet and this is a clamper clamper style and this bad boy is wow it's j crew i was almost gonna say this looks very like kenneth jaylene to me but this is j crew this is phenomenal this is a really pretty piece of jewelry and i bet you that this cost quite a bit of money when it was new at retail gorgeous I love this. <laughs> Let's try it on because it's fabulous. Okay. This is so cool. I don't have too much room because I got a big like cha-cha vintage bracelet on today. How freaking cool is that? Love. And I love the little like neon pop of color on there too. And it's got all these gorgeous rhinestone detail. This is pretty. Love that. Awesome. I love that bracelet. That's gorgeous. Really, really happy with that. Wonderful. Let's keep going. I see this little bracelet right in here, the silver tone bracelet. And we are hit. No, not hinged. Looking inside real quick. We got a safety chain on this. I am seeing what looks like, okay, a Whiting and Davis signature. So it's actually, it's right there. It's very hard to see, but this is like a little vintage Whiting and Davis bracelet. So you can see here, it's got really pretty design. It's in very good condition. Still got the safety chain intact. And so, yeah, that's nice. Fantastic. A, a little Whiting and Davis bracelet, silver tone. That's cute too. I like that. Nice. Awesome. Let's go. Let's keep going. I have this. This looks kind of like a made in China. It is a gold tone bypass dolphin clamper bracelet and so this dude does seem to have a little bit of wear on it i'm looking like right here on his head i don't know if that's schmutz or if that's just wear but we have that guy another watch there's like i said tons of watches in here okay this is actually pretty nice this is a square face full of a watch uh it, it looks very much almost like a this is giving me esquire which is a subdivision of, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the brand. It's kind of like a good mid-price brand. I can't remember, but it's very much giving me that vibe. It's got that stainless steel look and the nice square face there, and it's on a, a stretch bracelet here, and that's not bad. It's in good condition. The face is in good condition. There's no scratches on the crystal. Okay, so we have a little bull of a watch there's just more watches they're all on top so i'm just gonna go for all the watches here we have a men's fossil watch very very heavy silver tone bracelet 
uh, a little scratched up on the back and it just um yeah this is brushed kind of satin and brushed silver tone and this one also looking a little bit scratched up on the front too i don't know if you guys know this but fossil has a policy they will change your watch battery for free so if you happen to live near a fossil store uh, that's a good little tip to know so you can go in there and, and get your battery replaced for free which is a very nice policy but i don't know how they would feel with us resellers showing up because you know we're going to show up with like 35 watches <laughs> i don't think they would change them <laughs> um okay so this is just one another watch here and this one just says rumors so this is a lower end watch brand i'll put that guy aside more watches uh, this one is missing the crystal and this one just says Figaro again just another kind of like low end and this one is broken since it is missing the crystal. I'll pull out something different because I'm starting to see some jewelry now so that's exciting. There is this really pretty black rose brooch here and it has enameling on the leaves and this is very cute it's very oversized right in the middle there you can see it also has for the stamen, uh, little black rhinestones. That's really cute. I am not seeing any kind of maker on that, but that's a really pretty vintage, vintage brooch, the black rose. That's nice, and it's very, it's very large. It's like very substantial. So we'll put that dude right there. That's nice. Uh, another little vintage brooch I'm seeing here. This one does not have branding on it, but it is like a little clover, and you can see we have some channel set baguette blue rhinestones and then we also have some pave and there's the clear in the center this is very very pretty very very pretty and it just looks like very nice quality it is like i said it's missing rhinestones you can see here it's missing one of the baguettes it's missing one down here as well which is a shame because these baguette rhinestones are a real kind of pain in the butt to locate um so not sure what I'll end up doing with that, but it is very, very pretty. You can see it's a nice, shiny, um, almost looks like a, I don't think it is, kind of like, looks like a rhodium plating, but this is, this is very nice too. I like the channel set uh, baguette rhinestones. It looks very quality, it's pretty. What else do we got here? I have just a simple kind of gunmetal looking clamper bracelet. It's got like a little chevron design on it. So we have that guy. I pulled out this. This is a, a brooch and it's just got this chain. It's like a bar brooch and we have all kinds of little dangly bits coming from it. And we have, there's like a hand and a heart and some, some seashells and stuff like that. Let's look at the back. That's what that's looking like. I'm not seeing a name or um, any kind of, you know, it's obviously giving me kind of like JJ vibes with the pewter, but not really seeing anything on there. But we, we have that like a um, little bar bar brooch with dangly bits, dangly bits, sounds dirty. Uh, here we have another watch. This is a guest watch and we have kind of this like denim looking watch band. This one's actually working, look at that. Let's see if it's, I'm gonna see. Oh, I'm so, so shocked that this is still working. I feel like all the watches that we uh, encounter are usually like the batteries are dead and that's why people throw them out because they'd rather throw them out and get the battery changed. Don't ask me why, it's like, it's pretty cheap to get your battery changed, folks. I don't know. They usually do it at the mall too, you know? You have those like mall kit kiosks that you can go to and just get your quick battery change. Uh, this one just says it's Capizio and we look like, we're looking like we're a faux ostrich kind of like leather band here, green, and with a brushed silver face, square face. We have that guy. It's a big bag, it's very exciting. I have this gold tone little like celestial themed brooch. That one's got. This looks like it was Frankenstein because look, we got like we have two pins. So, oh wait, dur. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've had, I've had my coffee this afternoon. I swear. Um, look at this celestial brooch. It looks like it's missing something over here, like rhinestones right over here as well. Uh, so this would be a good crafting item. It's too bad because he's kind of cute. And then, yeah, there was this gold tone. Uh, what letter is this? The scripty stuff when it's so, like, you know, swirly. I can't read. Is this an F? <laughs> is this a T? I'm not sure. We have that. <laughs> we'll put that over there. Um, I am seeing A. This is a Torino. 
a Torino brooch. Silver tone is just something like swirled flower motif. So we have a little vintage Mark Torino brooch here. That's nice like the vintage goods. Another little, um, this is a little metal and enamel brooch here with a flower. And this is very cute. Yeah, these guys just, just looking like that. You know what I like to do with these guys is if I get a lot of the metal and enamel flower pins and brooches, I lot them up and then I will sell, I will auction them as a lot or I will put a buy it now price on it and I sell them that way. And people love these because I do like crafting projects with them and they're very cute. So that's great. It's nice, I like that too. So we got couple little flower brooches right there. Another watch. This is just like a no-name watch here. This is kind of like the styles that you get. I know Michaels and Joann's sell watches, so it looks like that kind of quality. I have this little brooch here. It's got Aurora Borealis crystals. It's like a little, almost like a little scatter pin. Uh, looks like a pewter almost. And this one unfortunately is missing a little crystal right there, but that's a nice little color combination. The pewter with the blue Aurora Borealis coated crystals. We have that gap. Another little brooch, vintage looking brooch here. This one not marked, but this is pretty. It's just a gold tone faux pearl. And you see there's a weird little texture on the leaves. It's almost uh, giving it this like raised or sandy texture. And then we have a couple of clear rhinestones there, the Aurora Borealis one there. And this, what the back is looking like, this is looking like a little bit older. You can see the pin kind of sticks out a little bit. So there's definitely some, some oldies in here, which I love. I feel like I haven't gotten a really good vintage jewelry bag in a while. I have some kind of fitness tracker here. <laughs> Probably look a bit better something. And on the card, we have this faux cameo here. It's, it says tempo pin. That guy knew on card there. This is like obviously not real cameo shell. And you can see the, um, I've probably mentioned this before, but people know this cameo and they call her ponytail girl because this was a mold that many jewelry manufacturers all utilized. So ponytail girl, she's pretty recognizable. She shows up again and again, and you know that this is, this is not a, a genuine cameo. What is this? This is, okay, this is another vintage brooch and this one's marked Capri. I'm not familiar with Capri, but this is very pretty. It's almost got like a fabric feel to it. They look like ribbons and a little bit kind of texture to it. This is very pretty brushed gold. That's what it looks like on the back. You can see there, I'll come in close. You can see the logo Capri. Not familiar with this brand, but I, I do like this. This is a nice looking vintage brooch. Cool, so we have some very, I think, different little brands in this bag too, which is exciting. Um, there's this rhinestone pin here and it says Asta. Asta, is there La Vista somewhere in here? Not sure what that means. Maybe it's an organization, not quite sure. Another one in here and this one is just more of like um, a simple bar brooch and it has the uh, all the rhinestones intact there. You can see there, there's also kind of like a square or elongated cut right there in the middle. That's very pretty and it looks very old too. Here's what the back looks like. All rhinestones are nice and intact and clean and clear, not yellowed. So that's a pretty little vintage brooch too. We'll put him, we'll put him with Asta next to Asta. It looks like a lightning bolt almost. We have this is, ooh, this is pretty guys. This is a vintage Quoro brooch. This is very pretty. I love this. It's got that kind of lily of the valley. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Brushed gold. This is very, this is very upscale for Coro, I feel. I mean, Coro makes cute stuff, but uh, this feels more, I don't know, like a Boucher piece or, I don't know, it has a, a, a nice refinement to it. And I'm saying that because I, I like these elongated rhinestones here. You see these are beautiful in pink and purple, and we just have really pretty, like nice elongated baguette rhinestones there. That's beautiful. All rhinestones intact, that's exciting. Beautiful. That's a gorgeous piece. I love that. Gorgeous. I have to do more research on that and see if maybe that's part of some kind of special edition. 
Not quite sure, but I do like it. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exciting. Very exciting. Uh, this old Christmas brooch here, it's missing some enameling and you can see it's like, a, it feels like it's a little aluminum or something. Oh, you guys, I went into TJ Maxx yesterday. I haven't been in TJ Maxx in the longest time ever. And I went into the kitchen section because I was looking for a microplane. Anyway, <laughs> I needed some new gadgets. My All my kitchen stuff is like breaking at the same time. So I went in there and they had these guys and these are just telescopic magnets and they have them two for, I want to say like $3.99 and you know, the magnets are kind of expensive, the ones that you buy on Amazon. And then I like the fact that it has a clip on it so I can like clip it to my shirt like a real nerd <laughs> and hopefully not lose it. Anyway, it's just good to have extra magnets. I always misplace them. They stick to the jewelry bag and then I don't know what happened to them. So yeah, I bought this, just a two pack and this was from TJ Maxx and it also has a grip. So yeah, this is just great. I think to throw in my purse if I'm going like thrifting or to the um, garage sales or whatever. Here we have, this is a little Monet cat brooch. So we have a little vintage brush gold textured looking little cat here. He's very cute. Back is looking like that. Pin is a little bit bent, but it's very, is this, this is not a cat. Is this a fox, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he has whiskers, but this part here is throwing me off. This is a cat. It's got a cat head. I don't know. Could be a fox. Maybe it's open to interpretation there. Whatever you want to say that is. <laughs> um, I have a little gator pin on a card. <laughs> And this is just like a, like a tie tack pin. He's very cute. So I think I said, I think this one was from Florida and this is making me think, yes, it's from Florida because of the gator. We'll see. Let's see if we uncover more Florida themed stuff in this bag. Oh, this one's definitely a fox. <laughs> this guy's definitely a fox. So he's cute. I like the little figure old brooches in here. So we have like, a little cat and we get these little frogs and then we have a little fox with crystal eyes he's very very sweet or is this a chihuahua i'm just kidding it's a fox um not marked but very very sweet we have that little dude i'll put him right there another just uh this is a little black rhinestone crystal and you know no name on it but that guy is looking like that tons of brooches in here this is fun this is a super fun bag yeah, all the things I like. Ooh, speaking of which, I don't know. This is a vintage Weiss brooch here, big rhinestone statementy, and it's missing a rhinestone right there. Oh, this is so pretty. See on the back, it's marked, it's marked Weiss right there. Mm, maybe we'll find that. I feel like this is a good, like a common size though, so maybe I'll be able to replace that. That's a really pretty Weiss brooch. Very nice, very, very nice. Yay, what else, what other goodies? I have another watch, this is a gold tone and this is a citizen. So we have a little, another little watch here and I don't know what's quite going on right there. There's some kind of discoloration going on with the crystals and the bezel. So yeah, not sure about that. So we have that little citizen watch. I have this weird little like woven bracelet this looks like something maybe that someone has made because then you know you can get these like components at the craft store this like type of it's cool looking you know is this flexible it is flexible it's kind of cool looking you know whoever made it did a really nice job that's a good idea to use that for a bracelet and it looks nice like that another little brooch here this one with a little purple purple rhinestone the back looking like that we're not seeing any kind of you know, signature or anything on there, but that guy's looking like that. I have another pretty, ooh, this is another Weiss. Okay, another Weiss brooch. Look at this, this is gorgeous. I love this, it's a mix of square, marquees and rounds. This is pretty. And it's a little bit dimensional too. We could see it's like, it's tiered. If you see that on the back and it has the Weiss signature. This is a really nice Weiss brooch. Very nice. And this one has all of its little baby rhinestones intact. So 
that's gorgeous I love it look at this and you can see it's huge it's almost like the size of my hand this is a beautiful brooch yes oh these are all of the things that I like these are a few of my favorite things <laughs> vintage brooches <laughs> Really, that's it so far. <laughs> All the old things. Um, this is a little Avon dude. So a little Avon gold tone owl here. And he's got cute little red ruby cabochon eyes. He is looking like that. Really adorable. That's what it looks like on the back. You can see the Avon signature. He's cute. I will add him to our menagerie of animals. <laughs> here I have a big seed bead braided necklace here this one's definitely look like it's seen better days so it's uh it's got some strands breaking apart the ends are coming apart so i'll be putting that to craft here we have oh this is a big monet brooch here this one equally as huge look at the size of that and really pretty just kind of like a spray design flower abstract spray motif here very nice condition gold tone looking like that that's a big boy big huge monet brooch oh put that guy over there another watch i'm seeing right here and this one is just a no name watch here it says you know i think it says quartz on the front the longer bracelet there so we have that guy who is this this i am seeing this is a Oh, this is interesting. There's a little hobe brooch in here, and we've got these two little elfin figures. These guys are cute. Oh, you know what? I, uh, you know, I think they made this collection of elfin figures to go with the zodiac. I think. So I think that's what this might be. So this, I don't know, are these Pisces maybe, or I don't know, maybe they're just weird little elfin people. This is cute though. I know another brand. I had received previously a Vogue, uh, it was a brand called Vogue, and they also made the, these weird little elfish, elven people, and they made a ton of brooches. Like, if you Google Vogue elf brooch, they will come up. They're, they're a little weird looking. I mean, these guys are a little weird looking too, but also kind of cool. So yeah, you can see that right there on the back. It's got the Hobe signature, and that's exciting. These are beautiful. A little weird, but you know, like I said, I like it because it's different. Okay, so we have that. Those are awesome, amazing, fabulous. And there's so much more, but you guys gotta keep going. Let's keep going. We just have a gold tone, little star, uh, textured starfish brooch right here. This guy's also very nice and new signature on that guy, but that one's looking like that. I have this. This is another, this is a Koro, and this almost looks like it's a, a pewter kind of gunmetal, or uh, it's definitely pewter look. I don't think it is pewter. And then we have this really pretty glass kind of capuchon right there in the center. And we have all kinds of little pretty pastel rhinestone accents. Is missing a little rhinestone right in there, but it, I think that to me that's very fixable. I think I have extra rhinestones in that one millimeter size. And so, yeah, this is this is pretty too. This is a really different looking little Coro brooch. That's nice. I like that little dude. Very cute. More brooches, you guys. This one is looking to me, um, this is looking to me based on the setting, either West German or Czech. And I'm saying that because of this like open work piece right here on the back. And then we have like kind of the faux turquoise here. And it is a little bit dimensional because of that, that back. So we have that guy too. That's very nice as well. Nice. Very nice. Tons of brooches. So into this bag, we have this little <clears throat> abstract, just gold tone. No maker on that one. And that's just looking like that. That's just like a little accent to throw on your coat or your jacket or your blazer. We have this one. This is a, I thought this looked like, it looks like a hair clip, um, but it's not. It's just a gold tone. And this is very pretty with the marquee rhinestones just going down the center. Very nice as well. Very simple. 
but very pretty, I think. It's very refined, very glamorous. I think this would look gorgeous on a coat, on a wool coat. I think brooches are gorgeous on wool coats. Brooches, I think, are having a little bit of a comeback. I don't know if you guys have noticed that trend. Um, I've seen in, in, on men in particular, a lot of guys wearing like little scatter pins on their blazers uh, or for their, with their formal wear, if, they, like, at, if they're at the Met Gala or something like that they'll throw on a couple of brooches. So that's kind of a cool moment going on right now. I mean, I don't know, all the rest of us are in like loungewear. <laughs> I've been in loungewear for over a year. But yeah, yeah, you know, those who apparently do can and are <laughs> glamming up their life a little bit. So I'm all for that trend. I have this guy here, no name on that. It looks more modern. So we have that one. Here's a big tassel necklace in here. Okay, and it's on a card, gold tone, huge tassel, and then this one is Marc Jacobs, what does it say, Marc Jacobs, decadence, oh, that's a fragrance, I think that this was, maybe this was like a gift of a purchase, I don't think this cardboard is, I think someone threw this on there, <clears throat> and they tried to sell it for $8 according to this tag, but yeah, I think decadence is a fragrance. Mark Jacobs de decadent. So maybe this came with a fragrance. Or maybe it was like a gift to purchase. It's nice. I don't know. I will have to look into the resale of that. I don't know. Here, ooh, I see some earrings. But I don't want to do the earrings if we don't have their pair. Uh, a little, little frog here with a big green rhinestone here. Kind of like checkerboard cut and red eyes. No, no signature on this guy, but... Again, someone here had a real love of animal and figural brooches, so I'll add him to our pile of little figural guys right there. Here I have a little Aurora Borealis heart crystal rhinestone, and this is very sweet too. I like this. No missing rhinestones on that. That guy. That's a sweet little tiny little dude. I have a little Christmas brooch. Christmas bell in the red and the green and the clear. Very, very cute. Vintage. Vintage little Christmas brooch. Gold tone. Nothing on the back. That's what the back looks like. But I do like that regardless. I think that's great. And uh, similarly, I, I do with the um, Christmas theme items. I put them in a lot as well. People like to craft. I feel like people like, you know, when they, they do thematic crafting. So I like to put things into a batch. That way they have, you know, it's like all Christmas items or all figurals. Or sometimes they'll do like all like, you know, nautical themed. That type of thing. Here we have a little uh, silver tone. And this one also just kind of like a abstract design here back is looking like that nothing really on there no maker's mark or anything i have a fish what is this it says d war lan uh d-o-r-l-a-n there's a number on it as well d or d or lan and not familiar with that brand, but we have here a articulated fish. And he is, is this guy, he is a pendant and he's pretty fabulous. So this is very, very interesting, very, very pretty. And you can see it's got gorgeous enamel work and we have texture, the gold has a texture to it almost to make it look like a fin. Super cool, super cool. I think he is missing something right here. So I don't know if that maybe was a rhinestone or just some kind of component. His eye is missing. But this is very cool. Very, it's fabulous looking, I think. That's a great piece of jewelry. I'm not familiar with that brand, Diorlan. Diorlan, Diorlan. That's what that guy looks like. He's awesome. Love that. That's a great piece of jewelry right there. What else? A little, another little scatter pin. This guy, a little butterfly missing a rhinestone, a little borealis rhinestone. We have a, a little brooch here. This looks like a fairy and um, on card, just this fashion jewelry, $6 made in China. So we have that guy. What's this little dude? This one's cute. This is looks like almost like a little damascene or Toledo wear elephant and he's very good 
tusk not all the way tusk trunk not all the way up though will he bring you luck I like the way he looks though we have that little dude in there hiding out at the bottom another brooch here and this one is silver tone with smoky kind of gray crystals missing quite a bit a little gray crystal rhinestones there back is looking like that and i'm not seeing uh, any kind of maker on that one so we have that guy a lot of stuff in this bag and it just keeps on giving you guys here we go this is another fossil watch men's fossil watch on a fabric here the fabric's looking a little dingy but this is a cool watch it's got this like almost like faux bois like the fake wood kind of face to it and that's that it's got the serial number on it and the fossil so we have that big men's fossil watch What else? What else? A big circle, gold tone circle pin. That guy looking like that. There is a box in here. And this one says Charlotte and Lexi. That guy. And this one inside. Okay. Ooh, these are pretty, you guys. Ooh, little sterling silver pair of earrings with cubic zirconia. We've got a halo setting, rose. Rose gold or rose vermeil over sterling silver. These are pretty. Nice earrings. Very pretty. It's a great little pair of earrings. Nice. Nice substantial looking CZ in here too. I would say that's probably like a carrot in each ear. Nice. And they're brand new. That's a great item. I'll definitely sell those. Awesome. <laughs> a Bram Stoker's Dracula pin. Must a little odd, maybe um, in promotion of the movie. Okay, uh, I have this ceramic little maple leaf pin here. This might be something that was homemade, but it, it is very cute. So I have that guy. Tons and tons of brooches in here. I am not complaining. Ooh, oh, this guy's a little damaged though. Another um, to Toledo Ware or Damascene pin here, and you can see I don't know if this is dirt or if this is damaged. It's got some kind of something going on there a little bit of schmutz right there so i'll have to see what's going on there that would have been very pretty i have this what's going on this is definitely homemade and it's coming apart but it's faceted orange and red glass beads here and then a little leaf pendant and this one like i said i think it's definitely homemade is coming apart these are nice looking beads. Good for good for crafting. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. We have a little kind of, um, I forget what these rhinestones are called. Mm. They're in the shape of flowers. They're all stacked and they are watermelon. You can see they have the pink in the center and the green and the blue, and then they're accented with gorgeous little rhinestone centers. This is gorgeous very very pretty uh could, could very well be let me see could very well be a homemade piece but this is gorgeous i love this those are gorgeous looking rhinestones Let's see if i can adjust my light just a little bit light's getting a little funky here that's beautiful that's very pretty very very pretty i love that love that this is just a bag it just keeps on giving you guys and i didn't even get to the part of like why i bought this bag okay here i have what looks to be um maybe like carved jade jadeite or possibly nephrite and we are looking at two fish carved that's very very pretty and it looks like it's maybe on a gold filled uh bale right there but that's very nice and unexpected um, just considering the contents of this bag. What else do we have? I have another little scatter pin here, silver tone flower with rhinestones. Lots of little scatter pins. So the, re <laughs> the reason why I got this, like I said, was there were these Disney pins in here. Okay, let's, let me pull these Disney pins out. I found them. They're in here, and this one is like a little uh, Easter Disney 
And the theme of Easter, you could see here, and this probably, this came from Disneyland. So a little collectible Mickey Mouse Easter pin there. I don't know, I'll have to look up you know, to see how, you know, the ones that are, I guess, more desirable, more collectible, sell for more money. And this one just looks like uh, Disney Parks, and maybe this was for June for Pride Month. And this guy is looking like this on the back. And so this says Disney Pin Trading. So we have that. Two little Disney Disney pins. Those are great. The little enamel pins. Very nice. I have this weird, what is going on here? This is a I have this... <laughs> Oh, it's got some stuck to it. Hold on. So silly. This is a brooch from Casual Corner, you guys. We just got into Time Machine and we went back to 1993. We are now in Casual Corner in the mall. I don't remember Casual Corner selling pins and brooches. I don't know about you guys. Because, like, wasn't it, like, for younger people? Like, it was supposed to be for, like, teenagers? I don't... Was it older? I don't remember. I feel like Casual... No, Casual Corner was older. What am I thinking of? Thinking of a different store. I think casual, I have no idea. I can barely remember where I parked the car in the morning. So yeah, I do remember it was a mall store. So we have this silly little figure here and it says class plan. So we have that one, I guess she's a teacher. Very cute on card. I have a snowflake brooch right here with rhinestones. Like I no signature on that, and that is looking like that. So many brooches. I have this little cutie pin. It's a, like a collector traveling pin, and it's from Holland, and it has a pair of little Dutch shoes right there. That guy was in there. I have a silver tone Santa, and this guy can be worn as a pin or as a pendant and this is looking very much like the brand best to me just the silver tone aspect of it I don't see a signature on it but we have this big big Santa I'll put that somewhere over here the piles getting massive another one here's the one with snowmen looks like it's the same brand same thing can be worn as a pin or can be worn as a pendant so we have mr. and mrs. snowman put that guy next to Santa Here's another little critter. This guy is a little enamel frog, and you can see he's got green and the blue enameling and rhinestone eyes. Not seeing a maker on that guy, but he's looking like that. Lots of critters in here. I have a little uh, goldfish, another little critter, a little goldfish here, and this one has blue, um, what could be maybe turquoise, let me see here, what am I seeing on here? Blue and coral, made to look like turquoise and coral, uh, cabochons in there, it's missing pretty much all of the cabochons, most of the cabochons there, so we have that little goldfish. I have uh, an enamel brooch here and it's just kind of got like harlequin type colors on it and then pretty pink rhinestones. No name on that. More of these silver tone brooches. These guys are not the best condition, but we have more Santas. A couple, <laughs> a couple of extra little Santas here. These guys looking like that. Again, the can be worn as a brooch or a pen. Two of those guys. I have um, a necklace here. It looks like this. It's on card. It says cake created by Ali Khan exclusively. And so this is gold tone and has all kinds of cute little crystal dangles on it. These are definitely crystal. So nice quality and a nice little combination of colors there, like greens and blues and Aurora Borealis. So we have that one as well. I have this porcelain, which kind of looks like a Courier and Ives portrait there with a couple ice skating. And that 
doesn't have any signature on it, but that's very cute. It's got a gold frame to the to the portrait and it looks uh, the kind of look Victorian era. But yeah, that's giving me kind of like Courier and I vibes. I don't know. It's got that. That's cute. Here's another little scatter pin. This is pretty. A little pink scatter pin with a halo of pink. Ooh, this one's signed. This one it just says Austria. Okay. So this is a made in Austria scatter pin. Pink, big pink rhinestone surrounded by just a halo of light and dark pink rhinestones there. That's very pretty. Made in Austria. That's nice. I have this brooch here, which is a ribbon with a little, what looks like a pocket watch at the end. Yes, oh, dear. it's the wrong way. I, I don't see any signature on this, but that's what that's looking like. Got that guy. This brooch says Aura, O-R-A, and it is like a little gold tone chalice. Not familiar with that brand either. Like I said, a lot of like interesting little brands in here. So we have that golden cup chalice. I have this little gator pin here. He's cool. So yes, I'm thinking this is definitely from Florida. Little gator. I have it looks like um, a mother of pearl. This is some, okay. This is Liz Claiborne. So we have a mother of pearl dove piece dove here. Very pretty, almost like mother of pearl mosaic. And this one is Liz Claiborne. It's marked with the LC. It's a pretty brooch. Very nice by Liz Claiborne. This is so adorable. This one says Beatrix. And it's like a little leprechaun hat. <laughs> so cute. Green. And uh, yeah, a little bit of rhinestone detail on the hat there too. That's very sweet. Again, not familiar with Beatrix. I'm not just referring to Beatrix Potter. Not quite sure. Oh, I see a pair of earrings. I see a couple. Let's see what we got here. This one, I have this little ribbon brooch here. This is looking like uh, 1928, that brand. And that's what the back is because it has that textured back that's a very typical of that brand and then here look at this you guys i have the a pair of earrings to match the coro brooch that we found earlier the little lily with the elongated rhinestones in the gold tone so that's nice that's like a little demi pearl right there so we have here's the brooch and these are the earrings and that's stunning and what a beautiful set it's so wonderful that they're all together and they're all intact, which is amazing. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Let me see if there's anything else in here that's worth noting. Oh, I just found like a little, another little Damascene pin here. This one does look to be in better condition than the last one. Just that typical kind of like bird motif. And that one's very pretty. That's very nice. I'm gonna wrap it up here because there's like little drips and drabs left in the bag, but we're already here at almost 45 minutes. And so it's been fabulous. This is a really fun bag. All of the things that I like and some really unusual pieces. I, I really love this Coro Demi Peror here. I love this articulated fish by this, by this brand. I had not heard of this brand, D Orlan. I will have to look into that. You know, just gorgeous vintage pieces here that were really lovely. This weird uh, hobe, these guys right here, the Weiss brooches, just some really fabulous, fabulous pieces. Uh, even the modern, I love this J. Crew, this J. Crew bracelet here with the enamel. That was like a really gorgeous piece as well. So, Really, uh, a really interesting mix of items in this bag, old and new, uh, in good condition, some in not so good condition, but overall, I'm really, really pleased with this. This was a really fun jewelry bag. And so, yeah, you guys, let me know what your favorite pieces are, or if you have any thoughts about some of these brands that I mentioned that you might be more familiar with than I am. I will do my research and my homework, and listen, I appreciate you being in here. 
for the long haul and go through all this wonderful jewelry with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Give me a like on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.